you and I both know both, both know very well that there was a tacit not, not not tacit tacit implies that there was something unspoken. There was very literal words of vocabulary used, a dialogue that was had. The barter was, I will be the guy naked during the earthquake if I don't have to go on the roller coaster. No, it was because I don't have to go because I felt so guilty about not having to go on the roller coaster. Well, of course, you were there for that fucking debacle, weren't you? All right, this is Roller Coaster Day, and we are not very far. Right behind me, we're going to do a couple of roller coaster sequences. So uh, that's our day. A lot of roller coasters. We're going to do about 900 takes, see what the actors are made of. Two months ago, I called Judd and told him that I can't ride roller coasters. He and I had an understanding. And then through all the rehearsals, it was fine. Too. Don't worry, you're not going to have to do it. I don't need you to do it. You don't need to go up there. I'm not going to force you to go up there. Strangely, today, Jonah is missing from the call sheet. I hope, I, I, I think Judd will hold to his word. I just hope that, uh... Well, why don't you videotape that exchange? That, that should be interesting. <laughs> Jay Barrichell says he won't get on. We're going to see if we can get him on today. He claims he'll have an anxiety attack. I don't know if I care. You know, there's been a lot of talk about this day, and Jay has made it clear he wasn't going to do it from the get-go. There was a point I actually told him on the phone. As I, I said, you, you might not be in the movie if you don't get on the roller coaster. He's like, fuck it. Honestly, when we pulled up today and I saw the structures, I had to go and lie down at my trailer. I'm really terrified. Not good, man. Not good. I need to talk to Judd first, if that's OK. OK. Mark my words. I'm not going on any roller coasters today. <laughs> not happening. I called two months ago because I was afraid that this would be a deal breaker. I was afraid that this would mean that I wasn't moving. I was prepared to do that. This is not bad. This is just like, it's a very like kind of swirly coaster. I would tell you this. Like a guilt trip did this like five years ago was the last time that I let someone do that. This isn't like what you think you're doing. I swear to God. I wouldn't think that these guys could do it all the time. Everybody clear out, please. Hey, clear it out, please. Jump on it. Ready. Use it. Be proud of the fact that in the movie it's going to look so great that you're scared. But we got a little bit quick. I don't want to sit here. Honestly, I swear to God, I did start to cry. I started having like a major freak out, and I started like uh, uh, my heart started pounding, and I could feel I could feel tears welling up in my eyes. It's genuine. The look of fear on my face is completely genuine. But I'm a team player. I fucking did it, didn't I? Who you go one more? Come on, imagine you on premiere night, two shot, you and Jason, you crying on the roller coaster, the crowd cheering, your yeah, bravery yeah. as an actor. Uh, showed up this morning and I had a BLT, which was my first mistake. And six or seven times in, things started to go horribly awry. And that's when the throwing up started. Yeah, can you grab more vomit bags? <laughs> oh, you rat bastards. All right, it's uh, pretty much near the end of the day at Knott's Berry Farm. It was a good day, it was filled with fun, laughs, sun, and vomit, and we had a good time. I'm kind of let down by my my team. Me and uh, Catherine Heigl and our producer, Shauna Robertson, we went on Silver Bullet twice in a row. 
No vomit. No nothing. We went on twice in a row without a break. I don't know what the big deal is. That's how you do it. <laughs>